Miss Belts is hanging her students' paintings on string in the classroom. She uses two pegs for one painting, three pegs for two paintings, four pegs for three paintings. How many pegs does she need to hang for 10 paintings? For this problem, I can look for a pattern. I'm going to use a table to look for my pattern and I will draw up my table using a ruler. My headings are paintings and pegs. I will put in the information that I already know. I know that for one painting, she uses two pegs. For two paintings, she uses three pegs. And for three paintings, she uses four pegs. Looking at the information that I have, I can see two patterns here. I can see the patterns of the painting starting at one and increasing by one each time. And the pegs start at two and increase by one each time. I can also see the pattern of the number of pegs is one more than the number of paintings. Using these patterns that I can see, I can continue the patterns here. Next, I would have four paintings and I would use five pegs. Then I would have five paintings and I would use six pegs. Six paintings and seven pegs, seven pegs, sorry, seven paintings and eight pegs, nine, eight paintings and nine pegs, nine paintings and 10 pegs, 10 paintings and 11 pegs. I can now see that for 10 paintings, she would need 11 pegs.